what I call an Irish hopper. It's a fly, not only a meat eye hopper, but just be a body, rib, uh, uh, legs, and then a hackle. But the Irish type flies, there's always that wee tad extra. They like a bit more colour. In this case, there's two hackles in the fly. It's a tail tag, rib, legs, and even there's some jungle cock, as you can see. And there's different colours there. All great colour combinations that you can't really go far wrong with. Now, the one I'm tying at the moment is the claret version, this one here. Now, this is a really nice fly, a nice pattern. Now, the hook I'm going to be using is the fuller mill hook. This is a, what they call the short, short shank special in black nickel. Size 10. The shank's equivalent to a 12, but the gape's equivalent to a size 10. And it's a medium wire hook, so the fly sits quite close to the surface. It doesn't go too deep. Now, thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread in A0 in red. Now we start the thread, and first I'm going to put some wax on it, gives me plenty of grip. Start of the eye, and we work our way down. Now take your thread to the point just before it goes round the bend, and then remove the waist. Now we're going to put a tag, a red holographic tag on it. In this case a medium one. So number 14, depending on the company you use. Let's go round the bend. Maybe a mill or two. And then I'm going to secure this in by winding over some super glue. This is a fully mill super glue. It comes with a brush, so really easy to apply. Nice straight turn there, and another one. That's all we need. A couple of turns to catch it in. Trim away the waste. Now, the tail I'm using a Glow Bright Floss number 7. This is this very fluorescent orange. Uh, it's a bit squashed there, but it's uh, Glow Bright number 7. Now you need about the six strands here that I've brushed together. So it's just an old toothbrush and then just brush the fibres to give them a tail. Tie this on, just catch it on the top, then wind up. Secure it in. Now give your cell three to four mil from the eye because you've got two hackles to put in. Quite a bit of work to do at the top. Now the way back down I'm going to tie in my rib. Before I do that, I'll trim the tail. Normally I trim it in line with the back of the hook, so I just put the scissors up and right at the, the bend there and trim. Then my rib is, say, wind it in the way back down. It's a peril. This one's from Uni, and it's number 14, or a medium. Now, for the, the body, I'm going to be using use a, a Claret Seals Fur, or SLF. You just need a wee pinch. Now what I'm going to add to this is some black UV, this is ice dub, ice dub in black, it's a UV colour, I'm just going to show you. That's it, and you only need a wee bit, don't need much. And we just put that to be in beside the claret dubbing, and then we slightly dub it on the thread, slide it up. And just keep it really th quite thin, so we see the red coming through the, the thread itself. And then we build up some sort of taper. Then we're happy. And there we are. Now, to protect the rib, the side it touches the hook as you wind up to rib the fly, just put a wee lick of super glue on it. That'll protect it. Not going to get many turns, so three to four turns. Come across with thread and tie it in. Then we're going to brush out using. Velcro, some of the dubbing, just brush it towards the back, but keep your thread, your thread out of the way. You don't want to catch your thread because the Velcro will actually burst the thread. And just roll your fingers through, this will lay back the fibres. There we go, and that's your, your rib and your body tag all done, your tail. First hackle to go on, I've got a, the bottom here of a Chinese cock hackle, a uh, cape, sorry, and uh, just going to use one of the feathers. It's a nice claret. Remove the the, uh, the fur or the fibre at the bottom. Catch in the stem. At this point, make sure you wax on your thread. Now you're looking two to three turns, depending on how good the, the hackle is. The length, you could have it long or short. I mean, it's up to yourself. I'm having it more. Basically just 
widen the gap slightly. There we go. Or even the gap would do. Need to check. Just slightly more. Two or three turns to secure it in. Trim away the waste. Just rub in the back the hack the, the hackle fibers, stroking them back. Then we tie in some dye claret. These are the knotted legs, pre-knotted legs, pheasant tail legs. Now you're looking for three either side of the body, so obviously six. Two, three, four, five, six, and this should be it. Just run them through your fingers. Now just check they're all knotted right, and that's fine. Now to slip your fingers down to the bottom of the fibres, and you'll be able to separate the three, there we are, and then just bring your finger and thumb together, hold them apart. And I'm sitting either side of the hook. Now these can be as long and as short as you like, it's up to yourself. Now I'm having it twice the body length, and then we come round two or three turns, trim away the waist, again, a bit of wax on your thread, tidy the head area up. And then as we come up, what I'm going to do is make sure the, the the legs are sitting where I want. That's fine. I want to be able to see the legs sitting okay. Now for the front hackle, this, this is just an unusual one. Now I've dyed this sunburst. Now what it is is a, a ginger cock neck. Now you can see it's went a very kind of rusty brown looking. Uh, below it's got a nice golden yellow to it and if it makes for a great hackle you, know, you can use a normal brown it's up to yourself but this is a this is one that I would recommend I'm just picking a nice feather so you can see it don't be shy with the length be slightly longer than or longer than the, the claret picking the best part of the hackle which if you look at the shine on it Shines up here. Well, I can see it a bit better. You can see how it catches the light. And that's what you're wanting. So, I'll remove the fibre I don't want. Just broke it at the right point there where I can tie it in. Make sure you wax your thread so you get the grip. Tie this with the front of the hackle facing yourself, and then stroke the fibres back, fold them back, and then we just basically do one turn in front of the other. Now, I want enough hackle on. There is enough there to tie another fly. I keep the point of that for another fly. Two or three turns, fold it back. Keep the thread tight, then we can basically break that off. It's broke twice, so make sure that's neat and tidy. You can see how it's sitting. Now I'm going to put two jungle cock eyes on it, and it's optional where you do this. You put a split jungle cock eye, or a pair of eyes, one either side. Now what I'm going to do is just, I've got two here, I've got sitting on my desk. When you hold the jungle cock tips, a finger and thumb, stroke back what I don't need. And then set these on, one either side. Just hold them. Come around with two or three turns. See how they're sitting. Check the eyes. Looks okay. Both sides okay. So when you're happy then I like to fold these back. Nice and tight. And then inform the head by a good nice whip finish. You can tidy things up while you're whip finishing. You can break away the tips. Cut away with a thread. See how things look. That's fine. Now, if you're happy with the fly, then we can just finish off. Go to varnish, or times what I like to do, a wee touch of super glue. Quite be careful, we just touch it no more. I'm just going to touch the top of the head here. This will seal it. Now, in a short time, Come and twist the, or you can turn the th device if you can. Just lightly touch the head of the fly. 
Now that sets really quick. It sets hard and uh, as I said, once five minutes you'll be able to give that coat of varnish and it'll be finished. And there we are. And that's basically what I call an Irish hopper. Uh, just because of the fact that it's got a lot more to it than normal. And it's the Irish colours. And, and many colours, these these will work anywhere. They've got the, all the aiming points, colour combinations that work extremely well. So that's what makes for a good fishing fly. So I hope we enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.